Hi, I'm Dr Nick and I've been teaching statistics for quite some time. And I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you are either a teacher of statistics or a student of statistics. And either way, I hope this, this vlog will help you to understand better why people hate statistics. Now, I'm pretty sure if you're a teacher of statistics, you have experienced what I have, which is telling people what you do and they say, oh boy, I love statistics. No, no, it doesn't happen, does it? What they say is, statistics was my worst class at university or college, or I hated statistics, but I had to do it, or because I had to do statistics, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So yeah, all pretty sad, really. So what I'm going to talk about today is why this happens, and also what we can do about it to help people feel better about statistics, both ourselves as students and also as teachers. Right, okay, so I'll just... There are two main reasons. It's partly because of the nature of the subject that it's... Um, and the other is the way that it's taught. Okay, so first of all, the nature of the subject. First of all, statistics suffers from guilt by association. Because it's mathematical, and lots of people hate mathematics, or feel have bad feelings about mathematics, they think that statistics is going to be difficult and hard and dry, like how the way they experience mathematics. Now, I'm not saying mathematics is like that, but I'm saying that that's what people think, and so it's just a worse kind of, of mathematics. The next thing is that it has sort of weird language. It uses words that we normally use in everyday life, like random and distribution and mean, but they mean something completely different in statistics. And so you've got to learn what the new words mean. And then you have other words like sampling error and non-sampling error, which make no sense. So that's another reason to hate statistics. Um, I'm afraid that inferential statistics is actually counterintuitive. What you, you, you start off with what you want to prove, and then you say, well, actually, I'm going to try and say the other thing and then disprove it, and that's a bit confusing as well. So there's quite a lot of stuff in statistics that just doesn't make sense when you first start doing it. Um, some people think that statistics is dry and unnecessary because the examples they've given can be, or the examples they see just don't seem to apply to their lives and they just aren't interesting. And statistics can also be quite ambiguous. So say people do like maths, and then they come along and they do statistics, and they find that, that what they liked about maths was that things were right or wrong, but when you're in statistics and you say, well, it depends on this, and this might be the case, and if you take one sample, this would happen, but if you had a different sample, something else might happen, and it's about probabilities, and about explaining things and that sort of stuff, so a bit ambiguous. So that's sort of why people hate this, well, many reasons why people hate the subject of statistics. And the other reasons are because of the way it is taught. Now, I realize that many of the people watching this video may be teachers of statistics, and I don't want to say that you teach badly. What I'm saying is that maybe the way people teach statistics doesn't suit the kinds of people who have to take statistics. And so this is, my entire blog is about how to teach statistics better because statistics is known to be really, really difficult to learn. And in fact, some, some research has been done where they, they tested students who had got A's, A grades in, the, in statistics the previous year, tested them what they knew, and they actually knew nothing. And so even if you pass statistics, often people don't understand it or don't get it, and that leaves you feeling uncomfortable too because you feel like an um, like imposter. Okay, so let's look at the way it's taught. Well, pretty much what I was just saying is that the style of teaching doesn't suit the people who are taking the subject. So it might be that the person teaching statistics is really good at maths and, um, and likes those sorts of things, but... Um, and, and, and teaches in a way that suits them, but it doesn't actually suit their students. Dumb examples. I'm afraid there are some really not very interesting examples used in teaching, such as iris petals and different kinds of bacteria and growing wheat and things like that that just aren't that interesting. Um, the textbooks are thick. Oh my word. I did a review of textbooks some years ago as, as part of my work, and oh my goodness, this thick? 
Why? Why, people? Nobody's going to read that. What textbook writers have to learn is if you put something in, take something out. And the other problem is that the textbooks have not kept up with what's actually happening in the world. An awful lot of textbooks are still highly centered on the mathematics and don't talk about the reality of doing stats these days, which is pretty much computer driven. And what else? They have got the computer stuff in there, but they don't take the other bits out. So, yeah. Another problem is that often people go too fast. People have a syllabus which has a whole list of things that they think need to be covered and they spend all their time getting through it and they cover lots and lots and lots of techniques in like a recipe book sort of way, but it doesn't actually, um, they, they, people don't get it because it's just too much and they've gone too fast. Okay, so there you are, we have 10 reasons why people hate statistics. I think hate might be a bit strong. So um, I'll just put me away for now. I'll just put this over here for now. Okay, so those are all of the reasons why people hate the subject of statistics. And what I'm going to talk about now is what do we do about that? Okay, so first of all, the nature of the subject. Well, we talked about how it's like mathematics, but the cool thing about statistics is that you actually don't have to be good or strong at maths in order to do well in statistics. In fact, the people who do best in New Zealand, I've found, are the are the ones who are strong at writing because if you can explain things well if you can put a good case for what you're saying and you've got a reasonable understanding you can just do fine in statistics that actually though maths underpins it you don't need to be good feel that you're good at maths now yes we talked about how there's weird language and there definitely is weird language so what you need to do is make your own glossary make a list of the words that you're meeting um, write them down, work out what they mean, but also use the internet people. Basically go on to the, um, the search bar and put what does sampling error mean? Or just put sampling error and wait for it to pop up and see what it is. And find explanations that work for you. Counterintuitive. Okay, now this is a really interesting one because many of us like to really understand things before we're prepared to do them. But the problem with stats is that the understanding comes with the doing. Now, I learned this once when I was tutoring for another lecturer, and he said to me, no, you just need to keep doing it, and as you do the statistics, it will start to make sense. And he was so right. Over the years, I must have marked thousands and thousands of assignments about various kinds of statistics. And as I read them, I learn things, because you, you can't get it all at the start. And, and the problem is that some of the mathematics behind statistics is really, really tricky. And so if your mathematics isn't up there, you're never going to get the mathematical explanation. So you need different kinds of explanations. So look for those, but also just, just do it. As you do statistical analysis, it will start to make sense. I hope. No, it will. It really will. Okay, now people thought that it's dry and unnecessary, but it doesn't have to be. And, and this is where you can take control. So back up to, to the, oh, we're, we're going to talk about this in a minute, about why it's taught. But you can take control over that. So find something in statistics that interests you. Find a topic. One that I find fascinating is a study about um, the female voice in Disney princess movies. Some interesting statistical analysis done there. Or you might be interested in fishing or in um, the um, global global climate change, or in politics, or whatever. There is always, oh, sport, so much statistics about sport. So just find the thing that interests you, and apply the examples to that when you're learning. And yeah, statistics is ambiguous, but embrace it. Embrace the fact that that sometimes it'll say one thing, and sometimes it'll say something else, but that's actually okay. Okay, so then we come to the way that statistics is taught. Now, I'm talking to you as talking to you as a student. If you find the style of teaching doesn't work for you, this is an opportunity to be self-teaching. This is a way for you for you to learn how to learn how to fish. Okay, we've had this whole you know, give them a fish, you eat for a day, teach them how to fish, and they eat for a lifetime. But if you can learn how to learn how to fish, then the world is your ocean basically so if if you don't get the way your instructor is teaching you then go online honestly there are videos there are these videos there are courses there are books all sorts of things find the one that suits you and work on it yourself okay next 
No, I'm not. Yep. And I mentioned about this before, if you find the examples are dumb, find examples that interest you and, and, and use those. And if you're an instructor, try and find examples that aren't dumb. Find examples that are interesting to your students. Textbooks are thick, absolutely, but there are other textbooks that you can find. And my favourite one was called um, Taking the Fear Out of Data Analysis by Oh, what was it? Schlegel Milk and Diamantopolis. Diamantopolis and Schlegel Milk. Unfortunately, it's out of um, print, but I loved it. It was very thin and it explains things really well. So you could look on Amazon for books. You could, there are some online textbooks as well. So find one that suits you. You don't necessarily have to use the one that the instructor's using. And honestly, as an instructor, I didn't use textbooks because they're too thick and they don't help and they use one way of thinking and your students want to be able to use their own way of thinking. Textbook publishers are not going to like that. Okay, now if your lecturer, if your instructor is teaching it very mathematically, just let it flow over you. Don't, don't stress out about it because what that does is stops your stops your brain working you go into the whole freeze thing so just let the math flow over you and use your technology so try things out using either excel or um, google sheets or whatever package you're using and try things out and get it intuitively just because the instructor understands it mathematically doesn't mean that you have to some very well-known um, proponents of good statistics teaching have said that mathematical understanding is not the only understanding Okay, right, and then the last one is, yes, your instructor may go too fast, and I'm afraid you've just got to hang in there. Just don't panic, because, and, and if you feel like you're not getting it, don't worry, because sometimes this stuff comes together at the end, and to be honest, the first, first statistics course I ever did at university, I had not a clue, and I got an A at the end. Somehow I managed to do the stuff and give the right answers, which doesn't say a lot for a lot of things but it's actually quite common and as you keep doing statistics it starts to make sense so that's basically my advice okay right well that's it that's why people hate statistics but I'd like to know why you hate statistics or why you don't hate statistics so write it in the comments below here and and if you're an instructor, if you teach statistics, I'd like to like you to tell me what you do to help your students not hate statistics. Or some, if you've got some questions, some ideas that you would like to help your students not hate statistics, I'd be happy to help. So, I'm a, and let me help you. Let Dr. Nick help you. So how you can do better in statistics is watch the videos on this channel. There's a whole heap of them to have a look around. It covers most of the tricky things that you can do in first year statistics. Subscribe to the channel, make sure you do, and if you put on the little bell thing, that means that you'll know when I put some new um, content up. And ask questions. I would love to spend some time just talking to you, answering your questions. So if you have difficulty with some statistics that you're doing, let me know and I'll answer it here. And share with your friends. Thanks. Bye.